we're off to Chiang Mai on the plane. It's early o'clock and I'm in Koh Samui Airport for another fly. This airport is the best airport I've ever been to. It's the second time I've been in this airport because we came on our last trip to this airport and I was like blown away by how nice it was. Check this out. It's more like a hotel. I mean, it's like a posh hotel or something. Look, you got like girls Instagramming it. This is, I'm still in the airport here, look. Like, this is the airport. Like, look at the flowers and look at this. This is the airport. Which is unreal. And then like, you got like flowers on the runway and stuff. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful airport. Kosamu Airport's the best I've ever been to. Through there, free food and drinks. It's nuts. I mean, look at this, complimentary snacks and drinks, right? I'll just take you a quick go around. Complimentary, you help yourself. There you go. And then check this out. I guess that's a water machine. That looks like some kind of coffee machine. And then, literally, bloody chocolate milkshake. And orange juice and stuff. And then just little bottles of water. Just take them. And that's the airport, look. Like. That's, that's, that's the runway over there. Like, look at this. Amazing. So I got me some chocolate milkshake and I got some muffins, some weird brown uh, cookie, a chicken sandwich and coconut things or something. Yeah, a bunch of stuff anyway. Check this out then. This is the toilet with a fish tank in it. pound flight later oh my god you can never quite tell what you're gonna get in Thailand this is stunning beautiful room robes, robes. Holly likes the robes one absolutely gorgeous room beautiful so this is the roof of our hotel backdrop of Chiang Mai there's some like beds up here I was worried such a big hotel I thought maybe we won't be able to get beds and then this is the pool area which is nice and then they've even got gym so check this out ready Ooh, ring light but check this out you don't like that shade You can cycle through different shades. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I don't know why it is. I guess that's a demister. Amazing. Love it. So this was 47 a night when we booked it on uh, booking.com or wherever we booked it. And I only booked it for three nights just in case, because you never know here that they, they, they can deceive you so easily with the <coughs> images and all that stuff and uh, it's lovely. So we went straight down saying, well, can we book another four nights so we can have a whole week here? Um, and anything less than 46 pound a night, we would be happy with. Ended up 36 pound a night booked with them. So there's a little tip sometimes on the islands, I probably wouldn't leave it till last minute because we got stung a few times doing that. But at least in Chiang Mai where there's plenty of capacity uh, for rooms and stuff, probably just turn up and you'll get a better deal than if you book it online. So we booked it for 36 a night. This is a lot of hotel for 36 a night. In the UK, this would be 200, 250 quid a night, easy all day long. So this is a hotel we're in. It's epic, we love it. But look what we found, little electric scooters, how to ride go-go. So it's called Travel Lodge, the hotel. In the UK, tra Travel Lodge is a dump. But here yeah, it's absolutely stunning. It's like really high end, it looks amazing. Look at this little cute walkway. These will light up at night, no doubt, because they've got little light up lights. So check this out, makeshift Red Bull. Uh, ice, 
cup of no, a plastic cup of ice purchased from 7-Eleven. Two of these weird little still Red Bull things. One can of Sprite, all mixed together. Boom, fake Red Bull, and it's quite nice. There you go, fake Red Bull. Boom. Mm. So we've done that thing again, whereby we didn't super check out the location. And as much as I've been saying, that's a nice hotel and it is a gorgeous hotel. I'm happy to stay there for the week. Boy, oh boy, are we out of the way. Like we're walking down these little side streets to try and find the main bit of Chiang Mai. It's like a 42 minute walk, which if you're a drinker. It's only 17 minutes from here. 17 minutes from here, but we've been walking for about three and a half hours already. No, we hadn't. It was because I did it to the center of the square. Anyway, it's a long walk. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're not lost. We're lost. We're lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not lost. We know the rough direction. It's just a massive square. And we're just heading towards the massive square, kind of. Anyway, <clears throat> um, we're going to get a moped. So don't matter where we are. We'll enjoy riding out to the thing. So don't stay in that hotel if you're not going to get a moped. But I would say don't come to Thailand if you're not going to get a moped. Honestly, I wouldn't bother. You can go anywhere in the world if you want to stay in a nice luxury hotel on a beach. Just go somewhere else. If you're coming to Thailand, you want to get a moped or you want to get like an open top Jeep or something. Exploring is part of the fun. So how do you feel about it up here? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. So here we are in Chiang Mai, ignore the heights, hollies. Uh, we're on the rooftop pool. The location of this hotel is, eh, you need a scooter, but the actual hotel itself is genuinely gorgeous and worth every penny of 37 pounds a night if you book it here, at least what we've paid, or 47 pounds or something like that. If you book it online and the online tyrants take their cut, and I don't mean it by the tyrants. They offer a valuable service. Anyway, <clears throat> we're in Chiang Mai, we're gonna watch Dune, I think. Um, at some point, maybe today, maybe not. Yeah, sunshine, it's 37 degrees, red hot. And uh, yeah, that's it. So look at the motorbike this time. It's another 160 in some like cool gray color. I've never had that before. Um, it's brand new, she said. We've come to the mall to watch Dune 2 or part two. Look at this, this is a motorcycle parking bit. You get your own little motorcycle bag and there's tons of motorcycles everywhere, it's cool. Look at it, motorcycles for days. So this is the ticket machine, we chose three o'clock. English uh, with Thai subtitles, doing part two. And we've got the special big seats at the back. But yeah, this is the cinema, looks quite nice. We're gonna go grab some food before it starts in about an hour's time. So we're gonna get some food. This is the basement food court of Maya. What's these? Let's have a little look. I'm just gonna walk around all and have a look, okay. Cause I don't know what I want. Pad tires over there. If I'm honest, I'm in the mood for something Western. I usually have like, I try, usually try and have a Western meal and a Thai meal every day. But sometimes it's a struggle. So I've decided to have this stuff. Food was lovely. And now we're gonna get a zebra croissant. Best seller. And we're gonna get a cinnamon roll cup. And two, two of those? Yeah, two of those, please. Cup Kunka. So we're gonna have our first separate croissant. Let me buy it. It feels marshmallow -y. Tastes like a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, it's alright. It's not like a price on them.
The texture's weird. <laughs> Permanent texture. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if uh, you're meant to cook them before you eat them. Because <laughs> we're not sure. <laughs> Do you think it's raw? It might be raw. It definitely tastes like it maybe would benefit from some heat in an oven. <laughs> How good was that cinnamon one? So good. Amazing. I've just asked her, <laughs> you think it's okay to eat the paper? Is that good? And what did you say? I didn't say anything. You didn't say anything? <laughs> <laughs> said Tolly, do you think we've got time for a cheeky massage? <laughs> See these massage chairs that we quite, quite liked in Bangkok. And we just walked all the way down them. Every single one has got somebody in it having a massage. What? So check this out. You got caramel popcorn, original. I'll show you the others. Paprika flavored popcorn. Popcorn bologna, which I guess is bolognese. <laughs> more caramel, more original. Oh, that's all of them. So, are you having bolognese popcorn? <laughs> is that what that is? I guess so. It's, like, it's got ham pieces on it though. Ham? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Thank you. Ollie went for the paprika. <laughs> mistake. So I thought it was a mistake and Ollie says it's really good. I'm not gonna try it though, I don't want paprika popcorn, that's weird. Maybe I'll try a bit. Thank, Thank you. you. Cop kunka. Kunka. I tell you what, it's really cool to be coming to a cinema in Thailand. And I tell you what, this is really luxurious. It won't pick up on camera, it'll probably look a bit, you know. But it's so nice. Like, it's really lovely. Like, the, the camera doesn't do it justice. I've seen it, video footage of this place and it didn't look great, but it, it's just luxurious. And we're just in Thailand, I'm gonna watch an American movie. So look, this is a cinema. Look at the seats we're on at the back. Like the paired seats. I've got a little, in fact, I've got my drink in there. So, Doom was good. Cinema was an almost perfect experience. A little bit cold, but that's our fault, not the cinemas. Highly recommend that cinema in Chiang Mai. Excellent, excellent. Really loved it, and Doom 2, quite, not quite as good as the first one for me, but still an amazing film. Right, I'm gonna go on a massage chair now. Wish me luck. So I hurt my uh, like trap slash neck in the gym because uh, I've not been going to the gym while I've been here and the hotel we're in. Ah, you fuck. Yeah, that. This morning. And this massage chair, just every so often, just goes exactly where it hurts. And it's agony. Agony. I've really screwed up. Like, it's hard to twist my neck. Either way, a mess. Right now, it's doing my bum, so I'm good. Let's see if I can see Ollie. I can see her there, look. So we're going to eat at this place. It's a nice live band coming on. Up. 
so we've just ridden about one hour hard motorway riding full speed lots of cars like not little windy fun roads or like city roads like long hard motorway for like an hour to come to this dam and i came in my shorts my swimming shorts thinking that maybe i could jump in and swim in it but this is what i can see so it's about an hour north of chiang mai i guess that's oh darling i mean it's all right probably not worth probably not worth an hour's drive without being able to jump in it and that and an hour back it's kind of pretty It's crazy, do you think that's to measure how high up it is? Yeah. It's pretty it's low. Up there. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's safe to say it's very low right now. But it's dry season, isn't it? Look at that sunset. I don't know if you can see the colour of that. It doesn't pick up on my phone, it's so red. I really like the look of this bike. Look at that. The modern grey, I don't know what you call the grey, but it's all angry and sexy. I never thought I could like a moped so much. So just let it be known that in this restaurant, with weird things on the ceiling, I've just one on it at Connect Four. There yeah, you go. Yeah, but it is one one because I don't want one. It is one one. I'll give you that. <laughs> so what was your? What did you say? I said this was the decider. This was the decider. Because we were one one. And who won? Me. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> One tolly, two to Mark, decider, boom, winner. Food was great. We had loads of courses, took, took a few away. We, I, don't, I don't know what we're thinking. The lobby of our hotel is epic. Check this out. So we've come for a ride on the Somlong Loop. We've done it before. Just paid a fiver to get in here. And it's all right, but when you've been to that one in Spain, nothing quite compares. So I'm having our ice cream in the trees. We're gonna go on this. We went on this before. Again, I've vlogged it before, so I'm tempted not to, but basically that is a track and it curls down and you control it yourself and it goes over there through the mountains. It's quite nice. <laughs> so we're on it. I could go really fast, but <laughs> I want to savor it. Maybe, maybe not. Can't see her. Where is she? That was fun. All bit, a bit slow and controlled. I can see Ollie now. Where is she? I see her. Here she is. <laughs> I think her hat's fell off. <laughs> so now we're just chugging up here. It's back to the top. It's fun. It's good fun. It's about six pounds sixty. I don't know if it's a tie price, I guess there is. 
but far enough for I-60, France 60. Even the ride back up's quite nice, very picturesque. Very picturesque. And kind of fun in a weird way. <laughs> Here comes Ollie. Was it fun? <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Did you enjoy going on your own? I didn't like it at first. Did you not? <laughs> but then you enjoyed pressing it yourself. Yeah. Thought you might. Same price. You might as well go on your own, don't you? I don't It's me. <laughs> nice. Oh. Ollie won't let me show you a. Uh... Okay. So, what do you think to Nimman then? At first, we thought we'd uh, gone to the wrong area because previously we'd been in Old Town. But honestly, like Nimman's all right. We actually really like it. So, first timers, first timers to Chiang Mai, stay in Old Town for sure. Second time we stayed in Old Old Town as well. It was a bit of a shock to the system. Third time, this time to be in Nimman. But Nimman's all right. I quite like it. So it's another hot and sunny day with day six in Chiang Mai. I want to tell you about burning season, right? I've started to get a bit of a <coughs> cough thing. I don't know if I'm ill. <coughs> I don't think so. I don't feel ill, but with me and Holly have both got this coughing thing going on. So anyway, let me tell you about burning season. Once a year in Chiang Mai, uh, the farmers basically burn the fields and they wait until it's really dry and really hot and, and we've been in Chiang Mai now for day, this is day six in Chiang Mai and we've not seen a drop of rain so it's really dry and it's really hot we've had temperatures of 36 37 degrees pretty much every day feels like about 50 degrees um, although the whole of Thailand's been really hot on this trip so anyway burning season once a year I don't know why they do it I don't know if it's just rice fields or what, but but they essentially burn the place down. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is a clear day. Um, it's a sunny, clear day. There's mountains up there, look. That's, that's mountains. But you can see all around there's a haze in the air. This is a sunny day. It's red hot. Like, it's really, really hot. That's not overcast, okay? That is... That is essentially smog. There's a, uh, there's a faint smell of smoke in the air. I don't know if you can see it. Faint smell of smog in, uh, smoke in the air. And <clears throat> like I say, getting a bit coffee and stuff. <clears throat> we've heard about this burning season thing. And usually we've avoided it. And this time we've come during it. It's good to experience from a point of view of we know what it is and what it isn't, if we're ever to stay a long term or come back to Chiang Mai, then we know <clears throat> probably best to avoid this period of time. Um, when you actually look on the apps for air quality, even above the road, um, <clears throat> there was like a sad face and it said 199 p.m. or something. I, think, I don't know if that's 199 parts per million or, or whatever, but when you go online, it basically says the air quality here is unhealthy. Um, so yeah, just, just an interesting fact for you. They set the entire thing on fire and it's just a smoke-filled mess for a while. Still a great trip, um, but you see a lot, of the, a lot more of the Thais wearing masks than probably normal. Um, and we was in a taxi the other day and she had a little air purifier sat on this passenger seat of a, a taxi. So they are aware of it. I think if you lived here, it would be a problem. A week here, it's not the best. You know, you like living in a bonfire a little bit, <laughs> but it's okay. So we're at a different mall here. Uh, I do like the, the words on the signs. Fuck you, matcha. Day 
basics in Chiang Mai, sun setting over the mountains, Holly looks like a million dollars. <laughs> We're in a rooftop pool, a gorgeous hotel. How do you feel? Me. Yeah. Happy. Happy. Almost six weeks away in one go. <laughs> it's the longest we've ever been away in one stint. A few days left. We've got one more day in Chiang Mai and then we're off to It's good, isn't it? It feels quite warm in here to be fair for once. Hottest universe ever, <laughs> the coldest pool. My beard's starting to get a little bit crazy. Not shaved it basically, had it trimmed short ish um, when we came away six weeks ago, and now it's full blown. Big beard. So we just had a roti from this guy, it was really nice. I keep seeing these getting sniffed all over um, Thailand. A lot of the Thais seem to sniff these herbal inhaler things. So this element is 7 Eleven, we got this one and a red one to try it. <sighs> I don't know what to make of it. It's a bit mentally. A bit like you're sniffing. Grandma's knicker drawer or something, a bit weird. <laughs> so I don't know if you remember, it was a Friday night in Singapore on my Singapore vlog for Chinese New Year that we were doing the washing. Here we are again, Friday night in Chiang Mai. So wild. <laughs> wild Friday night crew doing the washing drinking my double Red Bull and Sprite. Holly's got her water from 7-Eleven and ice. And here we are, washing crew, Friday night crew, yeah boy. So check these out, right, this is scary. These are backpacker trainers. These were bought for me by Holly Chops at Christmas, right? And look how bad they are now, like. So they were brand new at Christmas, and now they are, they have seen better days. But check this out, right? Boom, scary shoe washing machine. In this place we've just been, I'm gonna try washing the shoes. Might be worth noting that I don't have any other shoes. Not even any other flip flops. And we don't really understand the instructions. We took the laces out, but I don't know. Unwrap the shoelaces. I think they mean untie the shoelaces. I don't know how much of that to put in. We just chucked some in. Let's not overthink it. I think wang them in. One shoe, two shoe. We put them in or not? Yeah. We right, we don't know how much stuff to put in. It, it won't break it. If it breaks it, we leave. We run. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't you put be scared. them inside the shoe. If you want. They'll come out, but yeah, okay. Right, how much of this do you want to put in? Just pour it in. All of it? All of it, just pour it in. Oh, I wouldn't have put that much in. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Let's go, don't be scared. Just don't worry about the, the wrecks anyway. I am wearing them for any, anything other than like taking dogs a walk and I don't have any dogs. And that's to get come up clean, so. What does it mean? Oh shit, did you even put any money in? No. What the fudge? Should I put them in? No, don't put no money in, it's working. I don't even know what's happening. Did you didn't put no money in? No. Let's see what happens. Here, I'll get your money there. That is, it's just left the money on top, look, like that. <laughs> We're in, just, we're in Thailand, but they were blowing a minute ago. I'm gonna press this button and make them blow again. Boom. All right, let's see what happens. I'll report back when it's done. Do 
Oh, they're really wet. I tell you what, they're a bit cleaner, aren't they? I mean, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I think we need to put money in and go again. Sorry, wants to put more detergent in, but oh, look at that! I can watch it happen. But that's we've not put extra in. I think that's from before. It's just bubbles coming up everywhere. Look. Okay, so we put some more stuff in. That's really bubbly. Put some bubbles there. Okay. So yeah, here we go. No shoes, Matt. We thought that washing thing. We thought the washing thing <laughs> was a uh, said wash and dry on it, but it's the it's the name of the place, like wash and dry. Right, so I'm back. We took the clothes back. I've got the flip flops on from out of the room because I had no shoes on the way. We're going to see what's happened to my shoes. It should be done now. So one minute to go. It's really spinning them like crazy. That's not what happened last time, is it? Right, here we go. It's beeping. Zero. Let's have a look. Oh, go on, Al. go for it. Oh my god. I mean, they're not, they're not perfect, bad. but they're not bad. They're not bad, they're a lot better than they was. I mean, they're not perfect. I think but... they're going to dry pretty quick as well, like if you actually oh, feel yeah. down there. I mean, they're wet, wet, but yeah. They're all right. I mean, they're not amazing, but they're, they're all right. So much they're, better. Better. they're not as embarrassing. They're clean. Yeah. These are a lot better. The passable for not tramp. These are, eh, I guess, the cleaner. Everything's a little bit wet, but yeah, quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Can't be, can't be Thailand. Run, rat boy. He's scared. Bless him. He's not going to jump out, he's terrified. Or I am. He's kind of cute. He's kind of cute, Yeah, I think he's got a funny leg. Oh, <laughs> come on. You can't take him out. Okay, so I'm getting tempted to close, end the vlog now. We're day six in Chiang Mai. Uh, but let's see what happened to my shoes. So it's the next day. I just, I just put them there. How are they? Yeah. I'll tell you what. They're, look at them. They're like bloody new. They, co compared to how they was before, they're new and they are dry, like insta dry, not stolen. Look. Love it. Farewell, Chiang Mai. Farewell. Until next time. We've had seven days almost in Chiang Mai. We love it here, it's really nice. We've seen a different side of Chiang Mai this time. Uh, burning season's a bit of an issue, but uh, we've been all right. I wouldn't want to live here this time of year. Um, I think I said on a, another part of the vlog that it was about rice fields. I've done a little bit more research and some people say it's about mushrooms um, basically they burn the fields to find the mushrooms or something and then they sell them to China or something I don't know I don't know what's true what's not but yeah it's a bit smoggy yesterday Chiang Mai won the award for the most <laughs> dirty air in the world according to this website just in one day it was the dirtiest air out of the hundred cities that they um, basically monitor and we were we've been here for a week uh, but it's a lo lovely place love the people Love Thailand, love Chiang Mai, definitely worth coming. So two times now I've hired bikes from these people and uh, they've been excellent, excellent service, excellent bikes, highly recommended. If you're in Chiang Mai, come to Taiwan Bike or Taiwan Bike. They're very, very good. My name is Tawan. Your name is Tawan. Tawan, yeah. is that your wife? Yes. 
Yeah, Tuan and his wife are excellent. It's a long time, 45 years ago. 45. <laughs> 45 years ago. Well, excellent bike company. Highly recommended. If you're in Chiang Mai, come to Tawan Bike. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for me, five star. Yeah, yeah five star. <laughs> ten star, ten star. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye, guys. Cheers. So that's it. We've returned the bike. There's all temples and stuff. We're wandering around all the time. We're going to get some food. Ollie's going to buy some clothes. Uh, we're probably going to get a massage or two. And then we're off to Bangkok tomorrow for a few days before we finally go home. So this is supposedly the fresh wood cooked pizza best in the city. And this is the pizza and it's the second pizza we've had because it's absolutely lovely. So yeah, if you fancy pizza in Chiang Mai, wood fired stove pizza oven thing, it's all right, it's nice, it's good. So we're in a night market trying to get out of the night market it's been like there's just these weird little flies everywhere i think they're really bothering people so we're getting out and getting away but these night markets are long <laughs> Just walking down this road in Chiang Mai, Ollie said, what the fuck is that? I did not, I said, what the heck is that? What the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs>